Hello class, uh, welcome to the Geographer's Craft uh, Lab 3. Um, today we're going to be working with ArcMap for the first time and we're going to be mapping place centroids. So all the work that we've done in Lab 1 and 2 in terms of looking at latitude and longitude and looking at um, the differences in centroids, um, we are going to now add to ArcMap. So if you look at this lab right here, it's going to be a pretty long one. There's a lot of steps, um, but if you use this video and you follow these steps, um, it shouldn't be too bad at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the lab. So labs, lab three, and I want you to notice all the different lab folders right here, right? Lab three, which is the um, instructions in a Word document, an Excel document, uh, another Excel document, and a lab three student data zip and a PowerPoint as well um, that I will give in class. So uh, the first thing that I would like for you to do um, is to go to your USGS Centroid, click this, and um, there's one more thing to do is I want you to create a folder where you're going to keep all this, right? So I'm going to do it on my desktop. Um, but for all of y'all, it would be better to do it on your H drive, or if you ha somehow have um, have access to Dropbox, do it there. But you want to save it in a place where you can use it later. So I'm going to do a folder right here on my desktop just for um, to make it easy. And the first thing I want to do is I want to open up this USGS Centroid. Okay, so all we're going to look at on here is uh, the different values in here, right? So you have all your place names your type of place, what it is, county, but really the only things that are important today are the latitude and longitude and the place names. That's really the big thing. So we got this here. And let's just make sure that we save this to our folder. So desktop lab three, USGS Centroids. Okay, so once we've got that, um, let's go back and let's go to, uh, sorry, and let's go to the other one. So we just did the USGS one. Now we're going to do the census centroids. Okay, let's enable editing. And let's take a look at this, right? Um, it's gonna be really similar, right? We have the place name and we have the latitude and longitude. And make sure um, to notice that these are in latitude and longitude and they're in decimal degrees. If you had degrees, minutes, and seconds, that would not work. Um, uh, under arc map. Okay, so we got this guy here. Let's save this as enable saving, and we're going to save this in the same same place to folder three. Okay, so here we go. We have in our folder we have both of the Excel documents. So now we're going to close this out, and let's go back to our lab three, and let's um, go to this zip file and what we're going to do with this is open this here and I'm going to make sure to drag this guy okay so we got all these guys right here right um, um, and all of them have been extracted there's several ways to extract these based on whatever program you have there's there's WinRAR there's Express zips. What I'm going to do with with all these right here is I'm going to copy these. So I'm copying all of these that were just unzipped from this folder here. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that you probably won't recognize, right? You have DBF, PRJ, SBN, SHX, um, and other things like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these into our lab three. Okay, so these are all things that. We don't can't really really read, but they can all be read um, using ArcMap. Okay, so we got these here. Closing this out. Let's close this up. Make sure they're all in our lab three. And now we're going to go and open up ArcMap. Okay, so this is going to be ArcMap 10. Some of y'all may have used different versions of ArcMap, but we're going to use ArcMap 10 now. It may take a second to load because it's a pretty big file, but here we go. So while you're here, um, one of the 
Good thing to do is just to, to leave your mouse on a couple of these buttons and it'll show you what it means. So one of the problems with the with Arc Map is it isn't as intuitive as um, say Mac product or Apple products, but it gives you a lot of options. So there's a lot of different toolbars and a ton of different really cool things you can do with it. Um, it just takes a little while to get the hang of it. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some data okay now what y'all may need to do is you may need to make a connection which means you're gonna connect to a folder now I've already done that with my lab 3 but other um, people may need to do that so you you may need to um, um, connect it to your H drive so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to choose this uh, what does it say on the lab census centroids first I'm gonna add this I'm going to choose the census centroids sheet okay now once I'm here the cool thing is I can open it and it shows me everything just like it would in, in Excel right here are all the different values and everything um, so what I want to do is I want to take that X and Y data and see where it's gonna plot the points okay so the X field is the census longitude okay X means long longitude in this and the Y field is going to be latitude. Now what we also need to do is to give a, a, a coordinate system that works. Okay, So let's go to select and also a coordinate system that is going to fit Texas and to fit North America. Okay, So let's go to the NAD 1983 uh, 2007 projection right here. We're going to add this, apply, and hit okay okay since latitude longitude that's good okay and here's what happens it took all these points and it um, placed them for us right here all right so we got all our points right here now I like this but I want to turn this into a shape file I want to save this so we can work with it later so let's go to right click on census centroids um, export data and then I want to go here it's I think that it's easier to work with here, right? I'm going to name this census places. Now be really careful here that you um, don't leave any spaces. If you leave spaces, you'll have problems saving it. Okay. Looks good. Yes, you want to export it as a map layer. Okay, so now you can cl click this off. This is what it'll show you right here okay so this is what we now we now have it saved it's easier to work with and we're going to take this right here this old table and we're going to remove it okay so we did this with the census data and now let's do the same thing with the USGS data okay so what am I doing lab 3 okay here's the USGS centroid we're going to choose the USGS centroid sheet okay so add this here okay so this is here um, it hasn't showed up yet because we haven't placed the XY data but so we're right here um, and we're going to do the same thing we're going to do the longitude and the latitude and the coordinate system was already chosen for us so we don't need to do it again so let's hit okay hit okay and look what we have okay if you can, can click these on and off you can see where they are right okay so we're gonna do the same thing we did before we're going to right click right here on this USGS centroid events go to data export data go right here and I'm going to name this um, USGS places okay USGS places make sure this is a shape file it should already be one but make sure this is a shape file and then we're going to hit save okay yes okay so now that we've done that we can do the same thing and get rid of this here right so now we have them both saved in a nice way we can deal with them right um, these colors are just a little bit close so I'm going to uh, double click on that little color there and I'm going to change them into some colors that may stand out a little bit more okay so now we have this purple and the yellow right here okay
So after we've done that, if you look on the instructions, what we're going to do right now is we are going to add the other shape files that were given to us, right? So let's go right here. Go back to that lab three. And if you hit Texas State and then control on Texas counties, let's add both of these right here, okay? So if you see what happened here, it added Texas State, but our counties are hidden. So what I'm go going to do is click right here, and if you move these around, now you can see the counties right here, okay? So this is good to know that if you want to see something, if it's being blocked, you can move things, and it may block other things. So keep them in the order. This is like stacking pieces of paper, okay? So um, what I want to do so that these... Um, don't interfere as much with these colors is I want you to go to Texas counties, click on this little color part here, and mark it as hollow. Okay? I want you to do the same thing here with Texas State. Okay? If you want, you can change other things too. Maybe do the uh, width a little bit more. So let's change this to 0.5. Okay, so it's just a little bit wider there. Okay, just so you can, can see a little, a, a little bit better. But there's a lot you can do um, right here. Okay, um, that is all for the import and, and mapping with, with GIS. Um, I will continue the rest in part two. Thank you.